Since Gemini 3 Pro launched a few weeks ago at the time of recording this video, ChatGPT has lost 12 million daily users. That's a drop of about 6%. And in the AI world where ChatGPT has been the unquestioned default, that's a massive signal. And the reason for this is Gemini 3 Pro is the real deal. So in this video, I'm gonna show you nine Gemini 3 tricks that will help you become a pro in no time. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to understand about Gemini 3 Pro is it fundamentally changes how much you can ask for in a single prompt. With most AI models, you've learned to be really careful about prompt engineering, right? You guide the AI through your exact process, giving it step-by-step -step instructions, right? Because if you don't, you're gonna get garbage outputs. And one of the big changes with Gemini 3 Pro is it's enhanced reasoning, meaning you don't necessarily need to have a super structured prompt. And what that means is you can ask the this model to do way more than what you're used to asking for from other AI models. You can start to think bigger when you're asking an AI model to do something. And by the way, you get to access Gemini 3 Pro within the Gemini app. So that's what we're looking at right here on the screen. You just wanna make sure that in the dropdown here, you're choosing thinking because the fast option is Gemini 2.5 flash, or you can access it in Google's AI studio, which is aistudio.google.com. And you can see it right here. So we're gonna use Google AI studio for this first example here to show you how much we can actually put into a prompt and ask Gemini 3 Pro to do. So the goal here is I want Gemini 3 to help me to figure out how we can generate 200 qualified leads per month in 90 days for this made up company that I made up called Nimbus Ops, an AI workflow assistant for small businesses. So I give it context, audience positioning, inputs, give it the pricing, constraints, guardrails, and then I go through must have. So I'm asking it for strategy. I'm asking it to give me uh, content drafts, landing page, email sequences, social media posts, offers, analytics, automation. So I'm asking it for a ton of things. So I've just pasted that prompt into Google AI Studio and check this out. In a matter of, this was like two minutes, it's given me an executive summary. It's given me a strategy and decision matrix. It gave me what it recommended. It gave me a chart here. Here's the 90 day plan, messaging, hierarchy, content drafts, email sequence, social posts, automation workflows, gives you the trigger, um, gives me the tools that I've told it that I like to work with, assumptions and next steps. I mean, it just ripped this thing out in 64 points. So just over one minute. I could never ask a quote unquote normal LLM model for something like this because there's just so much here. And that's what I mean by thinking bigger when it comes to prompting or asking Gemini 3 Pro for whatever it is that you wanna do. Another trick to understand is with Gemini 3 Pro also comes the ability here in Google AI Studio to set the thinking level. You can see it here. It defaults to high, and then the other option is low if you choose the dropdown. Thinking level controls how much internal reasoning, if you will, that the model performs before responding. So if you switch to low, it's usually gonna shorten the generation time and reduce sort of that verbose reasoning. The high level is gonna add some time, add maybe seconds to the, the model working for you, but it's gonna improve the reliability on more tricky prompts. If your prompt is super simple, you know, low is not gonna hurt. Now, before we jump into the next trick, I wanna tell you about this tool I've been using for over a year now. We've all been there, right? You learn something valuable in a podcast or a webinar or a YouTube video and then completely forget later on where you heard it. Recall is the AI powered knowledge base that fixes that. You can use the browser extension to save, summarize and chat with any content from YouTube to PDFs in just one click. It automatically organizes everything so that you can retrieve it later. And with their massive new update, you can use their block style editor now to take notes right alongside all of your saved content. And the best part, you can chat with your entire library of content. Ask Recall, for example, to pull insights from these business articles, these podcast episodes, these videos, and then combine them with my notes and draft a strategy for me. To give Recall a try, go to getrecall.ai where you can try it for free or use code RICK25 for 25% off the unlimited plan until January 1st, 2026. The next trick with Gemini 3 is you can just bring your actual problem to this model, the whole thing. And it's gonna reason its way through it just like a PhD, super, super smart consultant would by asking the right questions internally in the model, evaluating trade-offs and giving you 
a structured solution. And what this means for you is you get to stop worrying about having the perfect prompt. So to show you what I mean here, I'm gonna paste in this really simple prompt. All I say is I'm drowning in admin work. I run a solopreneur coaching business, spending 15 hours a week just on email, scheduling and invoicing. I use Notion, Gmail, and Slack. I wanna automate as much of this as possible. Propose a specific automation architecture to reclaim 10 hours a week. Scenarios I should build first to get the biggest win. All right, so in just a few seconds here, it's saying this is a very solvable problem, spending 15 hours a week because you're a coach, personal touches your currency, blah, blah, blah. Phase one tells you what the bottleneck is, the proposed architecture, the workflow visualization giving me the trigger. Uh, phase two broken out into phase three and then giving me a nice table here that I can export to sheets. So in a matter of seconds, it gave me a very helpful output here, a complete plan broken down by different phases. And this was the entire prompt. This next capability is even wilder, I think. It's about building entire applications, even if you're not a developer. You can describe what you want and it'll build for you a fully functional interactive app or tool. And so here are the instructions that I've given it here. Build me a task manager web app called Sunrise Sunset. Totally just made this up. The logic, I'm telling it, it needs to track tasks and projects. Super basic, right? I give it a constraint and my constraint is just make it work. I don't wanna to touch a config file or set up a database, preload it with simulated data so I can see the interface immediately. Uh, and then finally, for the tech part, give me a single HTML file with embedded CSS uh, or JavaScript, use advanced CSS for the lighting effects and make the task burn away with an animation when completed. This is my entire prompt right here. So it's building the app right now, as you can see here on the screen, it's coding it. Just a quick note here, I did choose the canvas feature. So you just click on the little uh, menu here and you can see canvas. And here is the, here's the app. Uh, I'm laughing because this is so cool. Uh, remember I asked for the morning sunrise and the evening sunset. So the little, uh, basically a dark mode for it, which I think is super cool. Then it gives all tides. What's the surf, surf trip, grind, chill, buy tacos for dinner. Now, the other cool thing I want to show you here, this little trick is click this little add Gemini features option. So I can click this and it's going to give me some suggestions on the types of things it could add to it. Okay, so it actually added two new features for me. It said that I've added two new AI powered features to the app using the Gemini API to bring in some AI to the beach, beach vibes, catch waves, project suggestions, and the swell, which is the task refiner. So you can see here that added this catch waves button. Also this little AI icon here that we can also click on. And again, I know nothing about coding. I'm not a developer. If you said, Rick, you need to code this app, I would say this is what I'm this is exactly how I'm gonna do it. So I could grab the code here and I could paste it into a page where I wanna host this. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna make any changes to the app, let's just say I wanna change the colors or what have you, this is where the vibe coding comes in, meaning I can just ask it to make a change and it will, it'll change it. And the next trick with Gemini 3 is understand that it's also improved in a big way with visual reasoning. For example, Take a picture of a sketch that you've drawn on a piece of paper, upload it to Gemini and just simply say, build this. It'll analyze the drawing. It'll understand the layout and the functionality of your drawing. And it will generate the code just based on your drawing. You can use this site right here. This is something that Google put together in Google AI studio called bring anything to life, which is exactly what we're talking about here. You can just simply click, click on the upload and upload your picture and it will build it for you. Okay, for the next trick that you need to know, with Gemini 3 Pro, you now have Nano Banana Pro, which is the much improved version of the Nano Banana image generation model. You can see right here, I'm in the Gemini app. Nano Banana Pro is now on Gemini 3 Pro. When it comes to prompting Nano Banana Pro, here are some prompt elements that you might wanna make sure that you include. So you wanna make sure that you tell it what the subject is, who or what, is gonna be in the image and be specific as possible. Composition, so how do you want the shot framed, for example, do you want it like ultra close up or a wide shot or what have you? Next thing is give it action. Tell it what you want happening in the image itself. Tell it where you want this image to be. So give it a location. Where does this scene take place? 
Also give it style. Like what is your, what's the aesthetic that you're looking for? And then you can also use Nano Banana Pro for editing, which is really, really good at editing. So here's the prompt that I'm going to test this out with and I'm gonna give it the goal. So create a sunrise poster for a hipster coffee shop. I'm a huge coffee, uh, huge coffee fan, love coffee. And so I want a coffee shop. I'm giving it the subject, composition, action, location, style camera and lighting, aspect ratio, et cetera. So again, I'm being very specific in my prompt. Now, once I have the prompt in here, I wanna go down to my tools menu here and click on create images. That's how you're going to be accessing the Nano Banana Pro model. So I'm gonna click on go. All right, and here is the image that it just created for me. So I asked it to make a flyer for this hypothetical coffee shop called Don Brew and it added in sunrise specials right here a huge thing to know about the new nano banana pro model because of gemini 3 pro is the spelling of words it gets right imagine that so you can see even back here on the blackboard on the on the wall it says single origin pour over it has cortado has flat white so it's spelling words correctly okay, here's another trick with gemini 3 pro the multimodal capabilities with gemini 3 are really, really improved. Let's say you have a podcast and you wanna provide a list of timestamps on your show notes page. Well, you can upload the audio file to Gemini 3 Pro. It will do that for you. It'll analyze the audio file. Now, I sold my podcast in 2023. So I'm just gonna pick this other podcast that I really, really like. It's called Planet M. I'm gonna go to listen notes here and go to this uh, episode, The Neuroscience of Success. And I'm just gonna go up here to the top and I'm gonna click on download audio. So I've already done that. Then I'm gonna go over into Gemini and I'm gonna upload the audio file. I'm just gonna say, listen to this audio, fully understand the full podcast episode, and then give me a list of the main takeaways with timestamps. So this would be perfect for your show notes page. And so it gives me this great overview of the, uh, of the episode. So it gives me the intro, uh, with the timestamp, so secret number one. You could also ask it for the timestamp range, but then again, gives you the uh, secret number two, secret number three, and then ask me for a next step. So for example, the host mentioned a specific exercise called confidence work around the 33 minute mark where you list out, would you like me to help you start that right now? Or another trick you can do with this is Gemini 3 will analyze YouTube videos for you. So let's try it with this. So I'm gonna say summarize this video and give me a list of the biggest takeaways along with how to implement each takeaway in an online business. So I've pasted the URL for the YouTube video in here and I'm gonna click submit and we'll see what happens. Okay, that is a 46 minute video that it just processed in a matter of seconds. And so it gives the overview of what the video is about, gives the video summary, biggest takeaways, and then how to implement these takeaways within an online business. This is a super, super simple way to summarize this content and actually put it into and implement it in your business. Here's another idea for you for YouTube videos and leveraging Gemini 3's multimodal capabilities is that you can use the model to get repurposing clip ideas from short form videos. So here's the prompt that I put in, analyze this YouTube video, give it the link, and it's a link of one of my videos, and suggest to me short form video social media clips, ensure all clips are 30 seconds or less, provide a list of topics with respective timestamp range for each. And I can click go. Okay, and it's given me seven short form video clip ideas under 30 seconds. So clip number one, stop overpaying hook. Gives me the topic, why it works, gives me the timestamp range. And then here's the quote that is being mentioned in the clip. It's pretty good. Uh, gives me clip number two, clip number three, and it goes all the way through for uh, seven different clips. I can now very easily give this to an editor if I wanted to, to create clips from this, this specific video. Or I could do it myself uh, with a tool like Opus Clip or Descript, for example, with the uh, timestamp range makes it so much easier. So for this next one, Gemini 3 Pro is really, really good at creating infographics. If you caught last week's video I did here on the channel all about use cases with Notebook LM, which I'll link to right here, you saw the level of really cool infographics that you can now create inside of Notebook LM, but you can also create them in here in Gemini 3. So I'm gonna say generate image of an infographic explaining the concepts presented in this video. I'm gonna click go. Okay, and here is what it created in just a couple of minutes here. It looks really busy, but it's there's a lot in that video. We can say stop wasting money on more AI tools, do this instead. So I did this in a matter of 
a few minutes here in Gemini 3. And for this final Gemini 3 Pro trick, we're gonna combine a few of the capabilities we've been talking about here today into one request into Gemini 3. So what I wanna have it do is I want it to create me a new channel banner. So that's gonna save me from hiring a designer or spending the time to do it myself, which I am not a designer in any way. And so this is gonna go through multiple steps, right? It needs to go to my YouTube channel, understand what the channel's about. I'm gonna ask it to look at the thumbnails from the past few weeks on the channels because I want it in the same kind of look and feel of those. And then I want it to take that analysis and use Nano Banana Pro to create me a new YouTube channel banner. I would like you to create me a new YouTube channel banner for my YouTube channel. Please go analyze my channel. Here is the URL. Understand what the channel is all about and then look at my thumbnails from the past three weeks. You should follow best practices for dimensions of YouTube channel banners. All right, so there's the prompt that is threw in here. Now I just gotta get the URL of the channel and I'm gonna choose create images and let's see what happens here. All right, and here's what it came up with. Now, this is obviously is not me, so I would want to upload images of me for it to include, but it did what I asked it to do. And I think it did a really, really good job. Now this is pretty busy, so I would essentially give it feedback and have it make edits to this image here. But overall, I'm really happy with it, how it handles this type of multi-step multi-dimensional, if you will, workflow. So there you have it, nine tricks that will help you become a pro with the new Gemini 3. As you can see here, it's really, really good. Just take one of these that you've learned here from the video today and go test it in the business. Just, just pick one and go implement it and work your way through. Hopefully these gave you a lot of good ideas for your business. By the way, if you're an online business owner and you're looking to leverage AI in your business, I wanna invite you to join us inside my AI playbook community where I teach online businesses how to leverage AI so that you can streamline your business, become more efficient, make it more profitable and make more money in less time in your business. I'll link to it in the description below. Thanks so much for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video.